Yes, I heard from a friend that there is a video on clothespin ear reflexology method that claims that I have developed this method. First of all, I want to show you my demonstration. Can you believe this? Clothespins, look at this, six of them. Each clothespin has between three to five pounds of pressure. The first one states that it was the back and the shoulder. The second one is for the inner organs. The third is for the joints. The fourth is for throat and sinuses. The fifth for digestion. And the sixth for the heart and the head. First of all, the points are all wrong. I want you to know that. Plus, this is probably the one, the most unsafe way of applying reflexology. So I'm gonna give you a demonstration. I went to two stores to look for a clothespin today. So I found a wooden one and a plastic one. So as I'm pressing on the wooden one and using the marshmallow to stimulate your earlobe. Yes, you could go around wearing marshmallows from your ear, but it doesn't look particularly appetizing. So as you're pressing, Look what it's doing. It's collapsing. Can you imagine what this is doing to your earlobes if you're putting this pressure on your earlobes? First of all, this could cause permanent nerve damage. So what I have done, I've made a video which, you, which I will share with you on how to do these points properly and safely. You could do ear reflexology, but not on with clothespin. And people ask me, now I'm getting all these emails and ask me how long to do it for. Well, you don't do it at all. You can apply reflexology with your fingers. I'm gonna take these clothes pins off. For example, I'm just gonna do a couple of demonstration. Your stomach is right about here. You could press, yes, you right. You could go around putting your, both your fingers in your ears and press. So I wish I could show you a little closer, but I have to use my model. So you could press, and over here, it's for your arms and your legs up in this area. But watch my video. It will give you some really great tips on what you could do. You could do this probably, I would say, two to three, maybe four times a day if you want, if you have the time to press. You could do it for about 10 seconds if you have time in each point. You could work your way all the way to a minute. And if you do catch that video, really check out how red the ear is on that poor woman that has clothespin that's clipped onto her ears. So this is the safest way to do it is just to press with your finger. Remember, it's not how hard you press, it's basically can you hit what I call hit your mark. So you've got to press in the precise point. And again, um, reflexology, I use a standard American pressure, it's just a very medium pressure. Reflexology can be just as effective if you do this. It does not matter. It could be the weight of a dime or a nickel is just as effective. But the point is you've got to be consistent with doing it. You can do it every day, or you could do it several times a week, or you could do it once a week or whenever you have time. So that's my tip on how to apply air reflexology, not with these dangerous clothespin. And look what's happening to my marshmallow. So imagine just what this is doing to your earlobes.